Hello guys, this is Berman here, welcome back to another video, and today we are already starting off with step one complete. We're working on a wolf farm, and we've already got the sheep in here. Now what I'm thinking about doing is, I might make one like, with primary colors only, and maybe like a blue sheep or something like that, I'm not exactly sure. Or I'm going to do a colored one, like I said, don't really know. I think a colored one would be good eventually, although I feel like um, the time, you know, isn't now per se. But what I was thinking, though, is that I should, what I should do is have two of these white, one black, and one blue, and then breed them. If you don't know, if you breed two sheep and they're different colors, and there's like a color in between them, the baby will be that color. So like, for example, if I breed a black and a white sheep, the baby will be a gray sheep. And if I breed the gray with the white sheep, the baby will be a what a light gray sheep. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah, and if I didn't make it clear, I'm I'm working on a wool farm today. <laughs> um where do I put my I think I put it in the plant section where I put my wither roses. Which I'm not exactly sure where it is. Okay, it's not there. That's just a bunch of random stuff. There's a tiny slime right behind me. Nope, not that. Nope. Yeah, this... It's kind of getting out of hand now. Um, I guess it's in one of these? I don't know, to be honest. I guess I can just brute force this. Found it, and yep, there's a wither rose in here. Alright, so I just need one of them. I also need one lapis, which I keep in here, and I don't have a single lapis, but I do have an emerald to get a piece of lapis. So, let's do that. Okay, and now that I got those, what I'm probably going to do is make the babies... One, No, I'm going to make one of the babies blue and one of the adults black. And I'm going to... um. Do, per se, some selective breeding. Because because I want to get the most um, white and dark gray sheep. Especially dark gray. Why the white wool? Because white wool can be kind of useful in other ways, like making beds and that sort of stuff. And also, it can look good in some builds, like it could look like snow. It's easy to trade off as well. And dark gray, because that's by far the most... The wool that I use the most out of all types of wool. For the reason that it goes really well with gray concrete. And now, of course, I'm going to build the wool factory. I'm still trying to think where. Like, whether I should um, build a new road right here and do it right next to the village. Which sounds like a possible idea. You know what? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're pretty close to that village. We're just going to count how many walks. So, let's see. 24. 24. Oh, God. This is... This is going to be hard, alright? Now, this village will eventually go away... But still, I don't want to destroy it just yet. So, what I'm probably going to do is... I think I can make do with this. Especially since I was thinking about it. A wool factory is probably going to be a lot smaller than a sugarcane factory. Or a bamboo factory. Which is... Or anything like that. Which is why I didn't put on this side. But instead on the opposite side of that road. Okay, yeah. I think these houses might have to go sometime soon. Because it's probably going to be a mega project now. More now that I'm thinking about it more, since wool farms, most people make them big. Although if you go check the video in the description, a tutorial just made by me, you can make them extremely small, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do this episode. Now the reason why I'm making it massive is not because the farm is massive. It's mainly because I'm going to have, like, other things connected to it, like maybe other small farms and stores. And I'm going to have residential spaces above. Um, it, you'll, you'll see what, 
but I mean, um, once it's done, although it's not going to be done for, like, the entire thing is probably not going to be done for another 30 episodes, and I'm going to be working on it very off and on, so, but now what I'm thinking about it more, what I'm probably going to do is build the wolf farm first, and then build the structure around it, if you know what I mean, so, like, the exact opposite of what I did over there. Okay, I think I might know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have two extremely long rows. One of them is going to be rainbow. One of them is going to be white and gray. That's my idea. Or I could even like have three. I don't know. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them over here and then put something on this side. So that it doesn't really occupy much space. If you know what I mean. So now I'm building it six blocks up. Um, or the actual farm first I actually need to make a platform here which will be the minecart rail so it'll be these center of two blocks stretching all the way down there step one is complete got the minecart hoppers revolving around if you will yeah they just are going back and forth and back and forth I mean it's nice to watch but sadly, we can't do that all day. We have to continue building. Now I'm going to build a dirt platform on each of these. I also need to add one grass. Because if I don't, there will be no grass and the sheep can't get regrow, regrow their fur coats per se. Now usually it's good to have um, all of these, both of these roll, rows, all the way back and forth. Dirt and grass as well, although I've only got one point on each side because dirt is very rare on this world and I don't want to waste a lot of dirt and also I'm completely out of dirt now because <laughs> there's so much dirt in this just alone and even though this does sacrifice some efficiency it's not the end of the world only having one now place the place glass above the blocks you place dirt on these edges and also extend one further and place sandstone like this for ones which you didn't place dirt on put sandstone this is to keep the items from going everywhere. And now it's for the fun time where I have to get 52 droppers. You know? Or sorry, dispensers. 52 dispensers. You know, this will take a very, very long time. Okay? I mean, at least it'll give um, time for the grass to grow. And I don't know why this hasn't spread yet, but it hasn't. Um, yeah, I just used my cobblestone generator like I use an AFK fish farm, and that seemed to have worked. Just a bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, that... I did not expect that to work that well. Now comes the tricky part. I need string. A lot of string, and... I'm not exactly sure where I have my where my mob loot boxes and how much string I actually have in there although I don't think it's a lot two pieces of string yeah that's definitely a lot isn't it am I right I'm flying another <laughs> 22 string that's nowhere near enough still so I need to do some bartering These were 58 dispensers and 58 minutes of my life wasted. But nonetheless, all I need to do now is just place them like this. I'm going to need more grass blocks. I actually realized in a mean process. And I'm just going to place it above these sandstone blocks on the long sides. You can see me doing that. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? I completely miscal miscalculated that. 
Oh no. No. Not another hour of my life wasted. Yeah, this is not going to be one more painstaking hour of grinding. I've ran out of cobblestone again. Yes. Again. I forget that I don't have Optifine. But I've also added a few more of these to keep the grass in just in case, you know, a whole bunch of grass gets eaten and then it gets pushed back all the way and it can't recover. It can recover from over there. Um, and I need a tad bit more sandstone. But I might just kind of leave it at this for now because, yeah, it's taking a very long time to get all the resources I need for all of the droppers. Not to mention the observers, which is something I completely forgot about. <laughs> yeah, the, I think there's a way that I did it where I don't need as many observers, but I still need like two stacks. Yeah, that. It's probably, it's probably better to do some of that next episode, you know? But I'm thinking for the second half of this episode, I'm going to focus on the building part of it, rather than the redstone part. So now this is the entirety of the... What do you call it again? <laughs> I'm completely blanking out right now. Oh! Oh, right. This is the going to be the road. Yeah, it's pretty darn large. And, you know, the sidewalks and that sort of stuff. So, like, oh uh, yeah, right here, it's going to be the wall. And yeah, this is all sidewalk and road. And I need to uh, incorporate design around it somehow. Now, I have very little blackstone left. But I think, I know for a fact that I definitely have some inside of my gold farm. Although, if that's not enough, I can just mine a bit more. It's no big deal. I mean... I I only really need to do a front at the moment, <laughs> or at least these two sides, and maybe the third side, because it's going to be attached to a much larger building. Something that I have, like, forgot about this entire time is that if we dig deep enough, there's actually deep slate on this world, which is, in, in, which is quite insane. It's, like, one of the benefits... Of being on desert super flat rather than a regular super flat world. But yeah, if I dig straight down far enough, I'm going to be at deep slate level. Which means like that deep slate is obtainable on this world. Or not. Hey, I mean, I guess this is a way of getting cobblestone. Heh. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, deep slate is technically obtainable on this world. It's just really rare. <laughs> Because I think it can only really spawn in village houses. Um, yeah, although... I can load up on stone just like this. Which is so neat. And... Just gonna... Do that. And bone meal it up. Just gonna use all this bone meal because... <laughs> I don't know how, hard, how high it's gonna go. But yeah, now we have a cobblestone mine. I was hoping it would be deep slate, but... Apparently that world must have been wrong when it came to generation. I don't know. <laughs> now that kind of sucks how we don't have deep plate available. Although it's fine. I think I can make do with what we've got. Um, I also keep on needing to remember that I have basalt as well, which is pretty similar to deep slate. So there's that if I need it. Um, I accidentally made a base face. <laughs> It's kind of a stupid one as well. <laughs> I, oh my god. I'm tempted to like give it a nose. Although I don't really know what to use there. <laughs> this looks very, very, very worst. <laughs> oh my god. I'm. Maybe that should be a, maybe we should do stare there and then. Turn this one into another brick. Oh yeah, stair there might look good. <laughs> okay, this I think this looks stupid enough, don't you all think? <laughs> yeah, maybe just a tiny bit too stupid. No, I'm kidding. I'm keeping it, alright? It's a good kind of stupid. 
Now I just need to work on this inside area, which I think I might have an idea for. Now I'm not going to put in the storage and that sort of stuff, I'm just going to do a basic design for this area. Oh god, I just gave this thing um, a nostril. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. No, I need to make that a shroom light. Straight up. I need to make that a shroom light. Shroom light. Hold up. <laughs> or redstone lamp. <laughs> Why? This looks so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and the interior of this is complete. And to be honest, it reminds me a bit of Infinity SMP Season 2. Well, I always designed this room with like the... Or sorry, Season 1, not Season 2. Season 1 with the quartz bricks on the ends, you know, and this sort of tunnel theme. Yeah. And I think the only thing I really need is some light in, at the very corners. So I think I might, might fix that right now, like put a couple of soul lanterns there. Oh, well I'm close enough to the village, I've got a fisherman. Nice. Oh, I can't place him here? What's the light level anyways? Okay, it's seven. Yeah, it does nothing. <laughs> yeah, I need like a regular lamp or an, oh, an end rod. An end rod is exactly what I need. Yeah, that works. Um, there's some over here, some over here, even though these like produce no light whatsoever, since they're on the other side, it's for symmetry mainly. And here are 14 barrels on either side. Of course, these will be the other cars I have, while these will be gray and white, probably divided evenly. And this is where I'm going to end the episode. The wolf farm will be completed next episode because it was a much larger project than I thought it would. And you can enjoy seeing the front of this ginormous mouth and nose, if you will. <laughs> now so i'll do the sides next episode as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out